Well, it's usually white in color, weighs almost nothing, and is used for insulation and packing material. <laughs> yes, it's polystyrene foam, styrofoam, and more and more of it's going into our landfills. But you'd never believe what's happening here. Rick Wells is going to show us that Tulsa Company has found a way to recycle it. What in the world is that, do you suppose? Well, while you think about that, take a look at this. This roll-off container full of construction debris from a project over in Stillwater is being dumped at the Harley Holland Company's yard in Tulsa. The crew will sort through all this trash and about 75% of it will be recycled. They're selling it to businesses that will turn it into something useful. Now back to this. It's styrofoam. Increasingly, polystyrene foam is being used in building materials, insulation, and packaging. And we're getting more and more of it here in these loads of trash. It comes from um, furniture stores, packing material, uh, job sites. More and more of it was going to the landfill because there was no place else to take it. Well, then they found this machine at a trade show. We are the only one here in the state of Oklahoma that is uh, recycling styrofoam. They found a company in China that will buy it and turn it back into styrofoam again. The machine grinds it up and using pressure and heat extrudes these three to five pound patties of formerly weightless styrofoam. They put them in these large bags. Yes, it says sugar. And no, they told me once they're used for this, the sacks won't carry sugar again. Recycling's become big business. There are more and more markets for recycled trash. Even this. <laughs> Disgusting looking. Disgustingly good for the environment. Rick Wells, 